Everyone knows the usual way of getting from Substance Painter to Stager in, or really any other software, where you just go file, export mesh or textures, and there's your files. Um, it, it's easy enough, but it does kind of take a minute to get from this to whatever other software you're using. And so I just found that actually, if you go right below that, this is a lot faster of a way to get to Stager specifically. So like, let's say I have my model here and I want to send it to Stager. I'll just click that and voila, simple as that. And so now you can start making your tweaks and there it is. But there's a couple of quirks to this workflow that I kind of just want to show you the workarounds and how to like best use this method. But if you want to change your model, your uh, material here. So like, let's say I want to change this blue to like green. If I go into painter and if I were to make any changes, that's not really possible. So like, let me see if I can just change the base color. So I made it green. And if I save it and go into stager, nothing actually happens. And so what I have to do is I'll move this to the side is send a whole new one to stager. So I sent it and there it is green, but like that could work, but there could be a couple of problems in that. Like what if you had a really specific position or rotation or something, and you don't want to have to do it every single time. You just want to tweak the existing model, you know? Um, so to do that, like, let's say I have this original guy and I will well, scale him up, I'll rotate him something just kind of show like, okay, like I don't want to have to do that every single time, you know? So, doing it in substance doesn't work, but if I go to material and like, let's say I want to change the base color, I can edit that and click on the pencil. And so it'll bring it up into Photoshop and where I had my layers here in painter, all that gets flattened in Photoshop. So it kind of sucks in that aspect, but I could just add new layers from here. So it, it's more so like editing what already exists rather than like making a whole new material. So if I were to then make a selective color and like, I want to make that uh, green, I'll start adding my colors, a bit of that. I don't know. I don't know my colors. I'm, I, I don't remember how to make green out of blue off the top of my head. So you get the idea. Um, so like now if I were to save that and go into stager, you can see it populate. So now it's more of a light blue. So, so yeah, that's pretty much the workflow. Uh, kind of unfortunate that it has to be that way for now, but till Adobe fixes it, that is the way it is. So hope that helps and see you guys next time.